Welcome back to Who Chose. Today on Who Chose, we're going to build this. This is a DWC seedling or clone propagator. So I've had a few inquiries about the propagation technique that I use to take plants from seed to system. This is the puck propagator that I use to take the seedlings from propagation dome to the NFT rail. Because this is a pretty easy build, uh, the hardest part is actually sourcing the reservoirs to make the system out of. So it may take a bit of fiddling at your hardware store to find propagation domes that fit the top of a reservoir that your hardware store has in stock most of the time because you don't want to buy a promotional item that isn't available to purchase more lids or bottoms when you decide that you need to make a different style of lid for the containers and being able to move plants from a smaller reservoir and straight into a larger reservoir makes your life a lot simpler down the track. So for all the Australian viewers, these are handy storage containers that I purchased from Bunnings. Uh, the lids are available separately from the containers. So you can purchase lids, say you stuff up a build and replace them. They're made of food grade plastic and they're also a live line, which means that they'll always be replenished on the shelf and you'll never have trouble finding them. For those overseas viewers, you might just have to work with what your hardware stores have at the time. All right, so for this build, you will need a drill, a drill bit large enough to put a hole in the top of your reservoir for your air pump. You'll need an air pump. You'll need a 35 millimeter hole saw bit and also a larger 45 millimeter hole saw bit for the pucks because the pucks you'll be cutting are actually larger than the holes that you're placing them into in the containers because you need that tight fit for the plants to be held in. I've had some questions as to whether the pucks actually suffocate the stem of the seedlings and I haven't had a problem with this. The foam is soft enough that it just pushes to the side and I've taken some really large seedlings, healthy seedlings out of this system. All right, let's get to it. This is probably one of the quickest builds that I've shown you yet, but it does produce a really good system to use in your hydroponic ecosystem. So first of all, we're gonna mark out where we want our holes so that we can um, get a fairly even pattern going. How easy was that? So now it's just a matter of cutting the pucks out of the foam sheets and then placing the pucks in the system, drilling a hole in the top of the reservoir's lid and running an air pump with air stones into the reservoir, filling it up to the brim with hydroponic nutrient, adding in your seedlings or clones, whatever you're using the system for, and then just letting it run. You can have this system outside or under lights. You have more control over the environment under lights. However, outside is free. So pick your poison. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Who Chose. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time on Who Chose.